Thanks for helping us clean up the battlefield. This work ethic of yours, re- I know this paltry sum doesn't begin to pay you back for everything you've- Crisis, danger, the thrill, adventurers guild. Finally, our days of roll up, youngsters. J what? This storm terror threat is resolved. Uh, ah, storm terror should have. Long live the heroes. Thank you. It's finally many trade routes. Oh, I, uh, I hope they get the. True. Every cloud has it for that. As long as we. Greetings. May I take your order? Why so cold? I've always thought that we enjoy quite the intimate friendship. Ah, so you do feel something for me to bask in the presence of Mondstadt's new big hero. Sweet talking, sugar coated Captain Kaya. <laughs> Nonsense. I'm just looking for a. Qu While all the other. No thinking can be an arduous task, you know. Believe me. So what you think? The Abyss Order. A dragon wreaks havoc in Mondstadt, and the acting Grand Master. If you were the Abyss Order, would you squander this golden opportunity by sending in nothing more than a few hilly chirp? To get to the bottom of it, I decided to wait. Then came the day you made all hell break loose in Storm Terror's lair. Just as that same day, I saw shadowy figures lurking in the city. Inside the city? Well, all the other knights were outside, fighting the enemy. As you can accept from me, of course. And so I, through various means, I'm... The situation is this. The Abyss Order. The Abyss Order has a leader? Yes. And it was this very... What exactly did you have to do to... <laughs> Let's just say I'm blessed. There's more. The Abyss Order has a name for this leader. Now, I'm sorry to cut this intelligence briefing short, but I do believe I spy Amber heading this way. I think she's still angry with me for my absence from the defense effort during the attack. One minute I see Kaya, the next he slipped away. Clear sign of a guilty conscience. Are you sure? Because that sounds like exactly what he'd say to talk himself out of trouble. <sighs> but let's forget about him. I worked super hard. Hi, Sarah. One sticky honey roast, please. So, now the storm terror threat is but Paimon thinks it's time to leave Mondstadt and keep looking through the Seven Nations until we find clues about her brother. Huh, really? Oh, well, I guess this is goodbye for now. Hey, don't feel down. You'll always be a friend of the Knights of Avonius and our honor. That's the spirit. Remember, all right, now let's eat before... Mmm, that was good. Note to Paimon, Amber's- Of course. Well, I don't trust myself in the kitchen. You could always trust me with the menu. Oh, I almost forgot to mention. Jean's waiting for you at the cathedral. It's something to do with the Holy Lyre de Himmel. You'd better head there now. This is Barbara, the deaconess of the church. She is here to retrieve the Holy Lyre de Himmel. May the Animo Archon protect you. I'm not really in a position to speak compared to our acting Grand Master, but I still want to thank you all on behalf of all of Mondstadt for your assistance. Fortunately, everything was resolved peacefully. I can't- Now the Fatui have no choice but to keep their mouths shut. They must be annoyed that things didn't turn out as planned for them. 
This time, they even lost their best excuse to pressure the Knights of Favonius. Diplomatically speaking, they gained nothing, and on the contrary, simply- Sounds like quite the story. Keep defending the liar forever. We, uh, did bring it with- Oh, don't worry. I'm not here to collect ra- for the rest of my life. It would still not be enough. <sighs> oh, give it here. should get going. That trick I used to repair the Holy Liar. <laughs> I mean, the magic I used isn't going to hold forever, you know. What? <gasps> Mondstadt's rodent ruler in the flesh. <laughs> Scurrying through the streets looking for leftovers? Mondstadt calls this a god? Resident rodent beats invasive vermin. <laughs> Don't you dare speak back to me, insolent bard. Absolute archon of Mondstadt. How impotent you've become. That smirky wear looks out of place. Did you steal it from your master's face? Uh, uh, should have held your tongue. Uh, 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 so, this is a gnosis. Wouldn't be caught dead wearing this ugly thing in public. Beauty is a waste when the beholder has no taste. Venti! <laughs> well, we have what we came here for. Come, before our dear Favonian friends arrive. Leave nothing for them to find. Exactly. I found you lying unconscious outside the cathedral and used my elemental powers to heal you. That bard awakened first, but strangely, my healing powers had almost no effect on him. This is the first time I've encountered such a patient. But he just said, it's completely normal, and then got up and left the cathedral. He left? Already? Where'd he go? The symbol of Mondstadt's hero. That's what he said. I wanted to stop him, but Jean, uh, I, I mean, Master Jean, said to let him leave. How strange. Paimon remembers Venti healing under that tree before. It's probably due to the connection between Windrise and the... The wind amongst the branches is good. I love the way it smells. <laughs> I said the exact same thing last time. <sighs> Why do I only say these things when I'm down on my luck? Ah, uh, so you noticed. <sighs> this isn't something I'm meant to discuss with ordinary people. But I suppose I can let you in on the secret. As you know, visions are external magical foci that only a small minority of people possess. They use these visions to channel elemental power. In truth, 
Every wielder of a vision is one who can attain godhood and ascend to Celestia. We call such people Allogenes. Allogenes? Paimon's never heard of them before. <laughs> That's because this is a secret that only Archons are privy to. We don't need primitive tools like visions. Instead, each Archon has an internal magical focus that resonates directly with Celestia itself, known as a Gnosis. <laughs> It's just a glowing glass ball I carry around to avoid suspicion. So who was that nasty woman who sent Paimon flying and stole your gnosis? Her name is Signora, number eight of the Harbingers. She and the rest of the Harbingers have been given godlike executive authority by the Tsaritsa of Snejnaya, and with it, strength surpassing that of other mortals. The Tsaritsa of Snejnaya? Isn't that... Indeed. She is one of the seven, the Tsaritsa who reigns from the Zeppeljarni Palace, and the one person that the Fatui Harbingers all answer to. The seven don't always get along well, but still, I never thought that she would plot to steal another Archon's Gnosis. Uh, how should I put this? Five hundred years ago, I knew her well, but I can't say the same is true now. You see... A certain catastrophe happened 500 years ago, and after that, she cut off all ties with me. But we can save discussion of the Cryo Archon and the Fatui for another day. If you seek the rest of the Seven, many difficulties lie ahead of you still. You should head for Mondstadt's neighboring nation of Liyue. The Geo Archon who reigns there, unlike me, administrates his entire region personally. He only descends once every year to give his divine predictions, which set the direction for Liyue for the rest of that year. Even so, it sounds like he works much harder than a certain someone. <laughs> In any case, this year's rite of dissension is soon to begin. If you miss it, you'll just have to wait another year. What? Why didn't you tell us before? <sighs> well, then bye! We're going! One moment, Windborn Outlander. Yep, Traveler. As you set off on your journey once again, you must remember that the journey itself has meaning. The birds of Tevat, the songs in the cities, the Tsaritsa, her Fatui, the destination is not everything. So before you reach the end, keep your eyes open. Great. So that's that for the Animo Archon's admonishments. Back to Venti time. If you want to chat, now's the time. A bard stays not always in a single climb. Up till the end, Devalin remembered his duty as one of the Four Winds. As such, I don't intend to forcibly strip him of that duty and force my ideals of freedom onto him. I just hope that Devalin will be able to choose for himself and understand what freedom is. Before I became an Archon, I too was taught the meaning of freedom in this way by a friend. If you want to chat, now's the time. A bard stays not always. Well then, best be off to Liyue. If the dissension ritual you failed to tap...